this doesn't look good on you, you can unsubscribe from my channel. Doing this is <coughs> me trying not to make mess up my lipstick right before I do an intro. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a makeup look that was made for you and anyone else watching this video. This is a look that looks good on everybody, no matter your skin tone, your eye size, your lip shape, it's gonna look good on you. So keep watching if you're in a rut, trying to figure out like a new makeup look that looks good on you or you're unsure, you need a new routine, this is gonna be that routine for you. So keep watching so you can see how I got this look and how you can look amazing in it too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Why do I feel like I'm cheating if I don't tell you guys what primer I'm using? I was gonna do this off camera, but this Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer, Minimizer, step one is what I'm gonna be using. Oh my God, I need to shave my mustache. Hold on guys. Anyways, like I was saying, I feel bad if I skip a step without telling you guys. Do you guys care if I put on primer? I'm using a matte primer, I don't know. Just I have really large pores right now. So yeah, I was gonna skip that because it's more about the look that looks good on everyone not like the primer, you know what I mean? So you can use whatever primer you want, whatever works for your skin. I'm using that primer in the center and I'm also gonna use this one from Smashbox. It's a very matte pore kind of day. All right, let's get started with the makeup now. I'm skipping the underpainting. We're going straight into the coverage. I'm gonna do House Labs foundation. It's like a medium buildable coverage. I really love it on my skin. I feel like it has a natural finish to it, even though it's a medium. To me, I feel like it's full coverage, but I love the way it makes my skin look. It almost feels like, is this really my skin? I think it's like a fake layer of skin that's just perfect. It's one of those foundations. So that's why I have been really obsessed with this one. I like to apply it with my fingers first so it looks natural, even more natural. If you don't really like that much coverage, you can use a skin tint, but you just want your skin to have an even all over tone. I try my hardest to avoid the under eyes because I feel like it can get cakey really easy under there. Blend everything in on the other part of my face with a beauty sponge. I just feel like it softens everything out and it ensures that you don't have any uneven lines on your face, so make sure to blend that all the way down to your neck. Do not forget the neck or the ears in case you accidentally are off a little bit in the color that you're choosing. Let's be realistic here. A lot of us are kind of off on our shades sometimes, so just make sure you get that. There we go. Then we're gonna get a red of some kind. If you have a lipstick, that works. I've been using this one. If you have a lip stain, that works. But I, I'm just gonna use this lipstick because I cannot find the lip stain that I've normally been using. But I'm gonna use this lipstick on top. And this is gonna peek through my makeup. So no matter what skin tone you are, use a red. From the lightest to the darkest, just use a red that you really like that looks good on your lips. Use that on your cheeks. It's really just gonna peek through and give you that natural flush of color that everybody loves. In case you guys are wondering, this is from Give and it's the shade Anaheim Shine Original Recipe. After this, I'm gonna go in with this really beautiful glow enhancer from Giorgio Armani. You can also use elf charlotte tilbury there's a bunch of them but i wanted to see this on the outer perimeter of my face today just use a glow on the outer perimeter of your face it's just going to look so good like your skin is going to look like you have just naturally glowing beautiful skin we're just going to pat it in with our hand i'm not going in with concealer yet i've been loving putting it on after bronzer and blush so i'm going to show you this bronzer slash contour that i just got in PR and it's so freaking good. It's the creamiest, most beautiful shade for my skin tone. It's from Westman Atelier and it's called Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Truffle. If you're my skin tone, this is a beautiful bronze tour. So I'm just gonna take my contour stick and just do this. Depending on your face shape, you might wanna go more angled to make your cheeks look slimmer. Of course I was talking and blending all of my contour out on my cheek and I wasn't even filming, of course. But I was just blending this out and I was just telling you guys that you need to blend all the way into your hairline. Your hairline and your bronzer contour is your best friend. They wanna meet, they wanna hang out. It's what's gonna make it look so much more natural. Pounce your brush in, in a sweeping motion. So pounce and sweep. Look how easy that was to blend into the face. I'm gonna take this Real Technique brush and blend that in. And that's also going straight through across the brow into the hairline. You don't wanna have a stripe across your eyelid. You're gonna wanna blend it in and then drag it all the way to the hairline 
connecting all of this together. We have a little bit of the blush peeking through. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna use natural rose. This is my freaking favorite shade of blush for that natural flush of color. This is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. It looks good on every skin tone. And we're gonna work that on top of everything. And then we're gonna put concealer on. So. I'm gonna work that right on top, on the nose. And it gives you dewy, glowy, healthy skin. I'm also gonna take a little bit above the brow, just like that, so you can see where I placed it. And I'm gonna take a beauty sponge. We're gonna go in and softly bounce this all around and on top. It's not gonna give you oily skin, it's just gonna give you healthy, radiant skin. I personally think it looks good on everyone to have the blush right on the peak of the brow, wherever your brow peaks. Put a little bit of blush there and tell me if it doesn't make a difference in your face. All right, so now that we have our skin, we're contoured, we have blush, now I go into the concealer. So you can use any concealer you want. I just got these in from Laura Mercier, so I really wanna try these out. This is one and one, I hope it's not too bright. I was really excited to try this because of the viral foundation from Laura Mercier. So even if you don't have dark under eyes and you have a little bit of a lighter inner corner, it just does something. It does something, it gives definition. Like, I don't know, I think of it like a painting. It gives definition, it accentuates that feature, brings it out. So I'm gonna let it sit and sizzle. For the outer part of the face, I'm gonna use, oh, this is oat milk. I'm looking for almond milk. My lips are so freaking dry right now, you guys. I'm gonna put on this little lip treatment. It always kind of saves my lips. It's from Too Faced, it's called The Hangover in Cocoa Kiss. Oh, it smells like chocolate. So I couldn't find my oat milk. Oh my God, I can't find any of my products today. But I'm gonna use this new one I got from Lancome. It's a neutral shade. It's a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna put it on the outer part of my under eye. Brighter in the center and neutral on the outside of your eye. We're gonna blend it out. Those are the high points of our face, so it's gonna look really good once it's nice and blended but you don't want it to completely blend away so just softly pat in that area and then we're gonna blend this together all the way out okay everything is blended and now i'm gonna set my under eyes as soon as possible while my concealer is wet otherwise you will get creasing like right away so i'm gonna take this rosita pink powder from dominique and I'm gonna take my damp beauty sponge. This is way too much product. That's why we use the back of our hand to smooth it all out. And then once we have that on there nice and even, we're gonna press it right into the under eye ASAP. Bam, we have no under eyes. If you had dark under eye circles, they're gone. This is a really good brightening setting powder. The shade is so beautiful on everyone. It's also so amazing at setting everything in place to where it doesn't move. Such a good powder, talc free and it's non-comedogenic, so it doesn't build up, doesn't give you any breakouts. If you have sensitive skin or dry skin, this is perfect because it has hyaluronic acid. But I'm gonna go over the top of my eyes with this too because I have oily lids. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with a light amount of powder, taking this Fix Plus powder and a little brush and just sweeping that all over the face because we want the makeup to last, especially when it looks this good in this reel. We can't let it go. We have to let it stay there all day. Now we're all locked in. I'm gonna go back over with a little bit of powder, bronzer, and blush because I really don't want this to move. Bronzer from L'Oreal. And I'm just gonna dust this all over the areas that I applied the bronzer. And this is like my everyday routine now. I really love these makeup steps because they truly just look like you, girl. Not me walking out with my unblended chin contour. What in the world? I always do this. This is when you know you have ADD, you guys. We're blended. I'm gonna take the bronzer into my eyes, sweep it all the way across the temple. Then I'm gonna go over with some blush. This blush from Valentino is so pretty and it's very similar to the natural rose shade. And I'm just gonna add just a pinch over the top so it stays. I have to run some errands today. Jaden and I have this little class we do together at night. It's really cool actually. It's for parents and teens on how to be better social coaches for your teens to have better social skills. In this crazy world, things are changing so fast. A little bit of this blush, put it into the outer part of your eye. It's gonna look like you did a little bit of eyeshadow. And it's effortless, it's easy, it's gonna look great on every person, I promise you. And then once our skin is locked in, I'm gonna add a little bit more of my brow because we have to fake it till you make it. For the eyes, take any brown palette that you have, that you love, that you like. I'm taking this one from Carly, her new brand. She has like every pretty brown that you can think of in this palette, so I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna start off with something light and bronzy. 
So like these two colors right here. I'm using Chai and Dee Dee, and we're gonna work that on the outer part of our eye. Like if you look straight, you see where your pupil is? Stop it right there. Work it outwards towards the tail of your brow. Don't go all the way out, but just like that. And we're gonna use a powder for this. We're not using eyeliner. Then we're gonna go into a deeper brown. So I'm gonna take this brown next to it and maybe this one over here. And we're gonna go on top of that brown. Then I'm gonna take a clean brush. I have like a concealer brush right here that I'm gonna use. And we're gonna clean it up because I feel like it's a little too thick on this eye. And I'm gonna clean it up just anyways over here. Then I'm gonna take a thin flat brush and just go over the top. See how crazy, this is too much pigment. We're just gonna soften it out a little bit right here and just over the top of everything. So it looks a little hazy in the darkest brown I have. Work that on the outer part of the eye. Still trying to deepen up this brown without making it super deep in black, even though we are gonna go into a black. So now we're gonna head into this black. It's like a smoky black, almost has like a gray tone to it, but we're gonna take that and pop it right on top. Oh my God, I haven't done anything with my eyes on YouTube for a while. This is getting throwback. It's the darkest color we're gonna keep closest to our eye line. So I'm going really low with the black. And I like this color black because it's more on the neutral, softer side. It's not so intense and it's more wearable for every day. I mean, if this is not your every day, then what is? I'm just kidding. This is pretty intense for an every day. I, this would be my every day, but. If you are somebody who likes to put on a little bit more makeup and play around, then you probably will love this for an everyday. And we're gonna soften all of these guys together. That way it looks smoky, effortless. Now we're going to clean everything up. I already cleaned this guy up. I'm gonna go over to this side and I'm taking this Makeup Shack brush. It's basically just a concealer brush. And we're cleaning up. And then I'm gonna take this brush right here. It's just a blending brush. It's the Michaela and Glam Light brush, the 04. And I'm gonna go over the top and start to buff everything in. Cleaning that line up. It's gonna drag it out a little further. So if you don't want it that far, just take your finger and cut it down a little bit. It's very subtle and soft. I love that on everyone. Doesn't matter what your eye shape is, it's gonna look good on you. Cause especially if it's hooded, you are focusing on the outer part of the eye underneath all of the lids. So you're good, even if you have hooded eyes. Okay, if you don't have a light shadow like this, like just a cream, you can use your powder. If you have a pressed powder, but take that pressed powder or that shadow that looks very similar to your skin tone. Take it on the inner corner of the eye and the inner third so it looks nice and fresh. You don't want it to look too bright. As soon as it starts looking too bright, just kind of slow it down. Like don't go any further. This makes the eye look a little healthy and awake. Take it and just hit a little bit right where that arch would be. Again, this is matte. For the inner corner, I'm using the Highlight by Belle or Bible? Highlight. I'm gonna take that same brush actually and just work that on the inner corner, but like lower inner corner. Ooh, these are nice and creamy. Just like that and a little bit on the brow bone and nothing too intense or crazy. It's, that's literally all it is. If you want, you can use a highlight. I'm not a big highlight person, but this is really nice and creamy. So I kind of want to try it on the high points of my face. So I'm going to take it on my nose, my lip and the high points of my face. Oh my God, wish me luck. I really don't like that like, textured look on my face, but we're going to try this out because it looks like a cream. Nice. This is really pretty. That's gorgeous. I love that. <laughs> my lash routine. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a game changer right here. So I'm taking the Ardell 422s. They're so pretty. What I'm gonna do is cut a little bit of it. I'm gonna take these underneath my real lash. So I'm gonna take some lash glue, but I'm just gonna take it over the lash while it's on the tray. It just makes it easier all the way through. Don't go too far down, but first I'm gonna do some mascara. So there's a new mascara that came out from EXO Beauty and I wanna try it. I actually really love how compact that is and tiny. I am so excited to try it. So let's see. Ooh, I love a molded brush. Ooh, it separates really well. We just want our lashes to have a nice soft coat and lift it enough so that we can pop on the lash underneath. I'm gonna add lash glue right at the base underneath. Okay, they've been sitting for a little while, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off. I like to trim a little bit in the front, a little bit. You basically just want it to fit your eye. So what I'm gonna do is just pop this right underneath my eye. I'm looking up and then I'll put it right underneath. Okay, they're on, but I'm not gonna lie and say it was easy, it was not. I had to go to my mirror and actually get really close up and line it up and then put mascara on, but they're on and 
it looks so good. I love the new under the lash method. It's my favorite. But now we're gonna do some mascara on the lower lashes. I'm gonna take the same mascara that we used earlier. I feel like this is a good mascara for top and bottom. Do you see how like the inner corner is not gonna be pulled up? The outer corner is not gonna be out. It's just gonna look good every single time with the new under lash method. If you haven't tried it, you guys should definitely try it. I miss you guys. Tell me about your week. How have you been? How's life? Let me know in the comments. I wanna know what's going on in your guys' life. I'm always talking to you about mine, but I wanna know what's going on in yours. For the lower part of the lash, we're gonna do a little bit of that smoky eyeshadow color, this black really close to the lash line like almost right on top and all we're trying to do is keep the lower lash looking a little bit fuller i'm also going to soften it up a little bit so it's just a touch of definition a touch of fullness under the lash but it's not a full-on black liner and then i'm gonna add a lip we're going in with the hourglass lip liner and i'm doing the shade tempt three and they're so soft and creamy take a little bit of this brown i'm just adding more definition to the areas that i want to see a little fuller i'm gonna take my finger and kind of blend that in and once that's all blended in i'm going to take this shade called reveal 90 this is from hourglass and it looks like so i have not tried this yet but it looks like it's going to be so glossy so excited to try it is that going to be too pink Ooh, that is glossy mm, that is so pretty and it's not too pink Ooh, it like melts onto your lip glowy glossy i absolutely love it then we're gonna finish off with some setting spray i'm gonna do these two so lisa eldridge a og of youtube makeup artistry she came out with her own makeup line and she has this seamless skin skin and makeup enhancing mist so i'm gonna spritz this on first I trust Lisa Eldridge. Then I'm gonna go in because I don't see that it says it's like a setting spray. So I'm gonna go in with the makeup insurance from Too Faced. That smells really good. Hold for the final reveal. Okay, this is the final look. If this doesn't look good on you, you can unsubscribe from my channel. That's how confident I know this is gonna look good on you. So I cannot wait to see what you look like. If you happen to post yourself, please tag me. I want to see what you look like, hashtag DomFam, and I will be able to see your looks. I hope you loved this video. I actually had so much fun doing it because I know that it's going to help so many people out with their makeup routine. If you're stuck or not really sure what type of makeup to do on yourself lately, this is it. This is your new makeup look. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Doing makeup in videos is my therapy and I hope it's therapeutic for you too. Or at least we get a little time together, some girly time. Before I let you go, I just wanna remind you that you are beautiful inside and that's what counts the most. And that's what's so much more beautiful than anything on the outside. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. If you haven't seen these two videos, make sure to check them out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, let's be friends and subscribe so we can see each other every single week. And that's pretty much it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.